Hey, how's it going, everybody? Victor here. And going back to the topology that we were looking at in my previous video, and I don't, don't really know why I didn't have this up. Um, this one right here. I've decided that uh, instead of following this, um, we're going to go with all Juniper. So uh, we're going to be replacing these XRVs and this iOS XC for all Juniper boxes. I recently took my JNCIA and I, I intend to get the JNCIS SP. And so we're going to be practicing with this. If you want to follow me along, I've decided to make a quick video on how to set this up with Juniper. And instead of using one, two, three, four, five, six, eight boxes for this, uh, we're going to try and set this up this way. So we're only going to have one router. This is going to be. Oops. So this VMX core is going to be for this four routers here in the core. And then we're going to have one for each uh, BE hub. So uh, BMX H1 is going to be XRB5 and 6. And BMX H2 is going to be router 7 and 8. So we're going to be using logical systems. And if you don't know already, uh, logical systems is a way to split up the router into a multiple um, uh, multiple routers. So uh, unlike BRFs for Cisco or maybe routing instances, uh, each logical system is like an actual piece of equipment, like an actual extra router. Um, they have they they each have their own unique routing tables, interfaces, policies, firewall filters. Uh, route you can even do routing instances be within the logical systems and they each have their own um, their the routing protocol process the RPD so um, what we have here is a VMX and this is so you can see it's a 14.1 R1.10 and so far what I did is I went in here and uh, because of this VMX, you have to assign the MAC address of the actual uh, physical interface. In this case, like for instance, EM EM3 belongs to or corresponds to G001. And so, what you might want to do before anything else, before anything, is going to show the interface EM say three and get this MAC address and put it under the GE001 interface. So, like I said, for e, for G001, EM3. All right, and other than that, what I did is that I went into uh, under each interface and put a VLAN tag in, in there. So, <clears throat> in, order to, in order to achieve this, um, to achieve this topology here, uh, let's focus on this, the core just so you know how this gets done. Um, on the court, we have four routers. So we're gonna use four different logical systems, router one, logical system R1, R2, and R3, and R4. And so I have one physical interface connecting, uh, or I'm gonna assign each one of these physical interfaces to each logical system. So and I did this intentionally. I went ahead and grabbed GE001. I'm going to use it for router 1. GE004. I'm going to use it for router 4. So um, after that, we'll go ahead and um, enable the VLAN IDs for the links, the individual links that we want. So in order to simulate, and just like Cisco, in order to simulate a link between router 1 and 2, we're going to do an encapsulation 12. And then it's going to be like 10.0.12.1 and 10.0.12.2, and both using uh, a VLAN tag of 12. And then uh, 13 for this link right here between 1 and 3, and 34 for this link here between router 3 and router 4 very straightforward and so let's go ahead and get that done so as you can see each interface already has their mac address mapped to it and here's how you uh create logical systems just very straightforward set logical system i'm gonna name it router one and then you can go under the logical system router one and just start doing your 
config as you would do it normally or um, you could go uh, yes or actually no let's commit that and go back and then you can do set CLI logical system and say the router one and boom you are on the router one so you don't no longer have to do something like uh, ping or well, well we'll get to that so for now I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna bring this up to the side or I'm gonna put it here so like I said GE001 oops G001 is going to be for router 1. So, and I'm just going to do this one then I'm going to pause the video so it doesn't take that long. I I my um my intention is to do a short video on this. So, we're going to do set interface G001 dot uh, I'm going to do the, the the link between 1 and 2 so it's going to be 12 and I'm going to do a VLAN ID of 12 and a family inet oops family inet uh, address 10.0.12.1 slash 24 uh, did I g001 what are you talking about set interface g Zero zero one. Does it have the VLAN tagging? Yes, it does. Huh. That's weird. Let me go back here and do set logical system router one interface geek 001.12 vlan id 12 family inet address 10.0.12.1 24 that's too good okay honestly i don't know what's go um what's up with that um but anyways it will be the same as just going under the the actual logical um logical system and doing it but like I said you can also do set and we'll do the next one um, set logical system router one interface e001 that we're gonna do now the link between one and three so 13 VLAN ID 13 um, family inet address 10.0 that 13.1 slash 24 and we're just gonna need one more which is one to five so it will be 15 that one VLAN ID 15 and uh, unit 15 commit to that and just so we can test the pin let's do that real quick on create a logical system for router 2 and then set logical system router 2 interface g 2 this time we're going to start using the other link and we're gonna do the link between one and two. Twelve VLAN ID twelve family inet address one out of oh, one out of two ten dot zero dot twelve dot two slash twenty four. And just gonna commit to that real quick. And I'm gonna go back to the operational mode and <clears throat> gonna ping router two from router one. So ping logical system gonna stand on router one and ping 10.0.12.2 which is router 2 and that works we can do the opposite we can stand on top of router 2 and ping 10.0.12.1 that works too so going back to our config just so you can see how this is being done um, you can see under the logical systems you got the different routers router 1 router 2 and then just, just we're just using uh, VLAN encapsulation to simulate this links here so we're gonna keep doing that 
uh, to create this core here. And then when we get to the edges, when we get to the PEs, we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna have to use four different links. The reason is because uh, we're gonna use two of them to create this links between, uh, for instance, which this link between five and six, and then five and one, six and one, six and three. So we're gonna use encapsulations 15, 56, and 36 in these two links. Then um, we're gonna use these other links, which are not gonna have any encapsulation because we're gonna need to use uh, flexible VLAN matching for this. Uh, when, but when we get to that part, for now I'm just gonna focus on the core. And I'm, think, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave this video for now. What I'll do is I'm gonna pause, and I'm gonna I'm gonna also enable OSPF throughout the core, and then I'm gonna unpause the video, show you that, and that will be it. All right, so I finished working on um, the core here, the VMX core, and then um, VMX H1. So if we go here. We can see that we have two logical systems, um, logical system R5 and R6. Again, we put the interfaces uh, 005 and 006 into the two different logical systems, and we've used VLAN tags to match on that and simulate the links. I've also gone and enabled uh, protocols OSPF area zero and entered those two interfaces there. And if we were to, uh, if we want to find the um, OSPF neighbors, we go and do show, run show, OSPF neighbors, logical system, and maybe we're going to do router 5, or perhaps we want to do router 6. We can also, and let's try that, uh, let's try going into the CLI mode one more time, and and set CLI logical system do router 5 okay then we're gonna do ping to let's say router 4 all the way down there to the on the core so we could be 10.0 that and I haven't I haven't set the the loopbacks yet so we'll just use a link in the link IP so 34.4 and we can reach that so that um, would be pretty much it um, so from here we'll go and set up the core again, we'll do LDP and then uh, we'll try to cover some more in-depth details on maybe BGP and MPLS. Then we're going to start turning up the, the, the customers here on the two edges and we'll take it from there. Uh, I hope this has been informative for you. Um, again, if you have any questions, shoot me a comment or subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you and have a good night.